Well, surf lifesavers in the north of New Zealand say they've been brought to their knees after two clubhouses were destroyed and four smashed by this year's storms. They say they need $12 million to keep going and are begging the government for the cash. Adam Hollingworth reports. Mangafai Surf Club, built just a decade ago, was taken out by a slip in the storms. No. The clubhouse at Bethel's Beach was washed away. The cost to replace them both, more than $8 million. It's the biggest funding crisis our organisation has faced in the last 100 years. For 100 years we've been out there supporting the community. Now we need your support. This is not a expenditure, capital expenditure we can respond to. We don't have eight mil sitting there to fix these clubs up. If that wasn't bad enough, four other clubs on Auckland's west coast, Muriwai, North Piha, Piha and Kare Kare, are all devastated, inaccessible or currently repurposed for civil defence or welfare centres with outstanding costs of nearly four million. That's six out of ten patrol sites unable to provide patrols. In Auckland, it's on its knees. Add to that their main job, to save lives in the water, with drownings having reached record levels. I think we need to take a look at the value we surf life saving provides in its water safety function, its civil defence function, its community support function, and make sure we're well funded to continue doing that in the future. We do our job very, very well, but we're not well funded to do it, which is a challenge. The philanthropists and gaming trusts are out of cash. So, Matt Williams says, only government can foot the bill. These aren't nice to have. This is the heart of the service, the area we have to operate out of. So it's a huge problem. Finance Minister Grant Robertson says the government is looking at what he calls social infrastructure. Surf Life Saving Clubs play a really important role in these regions. So we're working through that. It's one of the things the Cabinet Committee will do is look at based on the regional assessments we get where need is. Surf Life Saving's biggest fear is losing the volunteers who provide the service, spelling the end of a hundred years of vigilance on our beaches. Adam Hollingworth, News Hub.